Hello, my dear learners! Welcome to Science at Iba Pa with Teacher DJ. Science Vocabulary Singular and Plural Form of Scientific Words There are certain words we use in science and mathematics that are borrowed from Latin or Greek. Many of these words retain their Latin or Greek plurals especially in math and science settings. The vast majority of irregular plurals are derived from Latin, the most common language that is used in science, especially in the field of biology. Let us now study some of the rules in pluralizing words that are commonly used in science and mathematics that have Latin or Greek origin. You may have already learned about the genders of nouns from your English class. Latin words has also genders for nouns. It has three genders, masculine, feminine, and neuter. Most Latin masculine nouns end in us are pluralized by changing us to I. For example, Nucleus. It is an organelle found in eukaryotic cells. Its singular form is nucleus, and its plural form is nuclei. Another example is fungus. It is any member of the group of eukaryotic organisms that includes microorganisms such as yeasts and molds, and as big as mushrooms. Its singular form is fungus, and its plural form is fungi. So you don't have to say fungi because fungi is already the plural form of fungus. Another example following this rule is alveolus. It is any of the many tiny air sacs of the lungs which allow gaseous exchange. The singular form is alveolus, and the plural form is alveoli. Most feminine nouns that end in a are pluralized by adding e to the word. Like alga, this is an aquatic, non-vascular, photosynthetic organism formerly regarded as plants. Its plural form is algae. Another is vertebra. It is each of the series of small bones forming the backbone. The plural form for vertebra is vertebrae or it can be read as vertebrae. Another example is larva. It is a stage of an insect or other arthropod after leaving the egg. Its plural form is larvae or larvae. Neuter nouns end in um are pluralized by changing um to a. Let's take bacterium as an example. Bacterium is a member of a large group of unicellular organisms. Its plural form will be bacteria. Another one is phylum. It is a level of classification or taxonomic rank below kingdom and above class. Just like these animals in the picture, they belong to phylum chordata. The plural form for phylum is phyla. Another example is the plural form of flagellum. 
flagellum is a slender thread-like structure that allows protozoa, bacteria, and sperm to swim. Following the rule by changing um to a, the plural form for flagellum is flagella. This is another rule to be observed in pluralizing words or nouns that have Latin or Greek origin. Nouns with an is ending can be made plural by changing is to s. Such as in axis, it is a fixed reference line for the measurement of coordinates. When we talk about x-coordinate, then we say x-axis. And if we talk about y-coordinate, then it is called y-axis. And if we talk about x-axis, y-axis, z-axis, then we say axis. This male reproductive gland called testis follows this rule. And its plural form will become testis. The next example is hypothesis. It is a statement of expectation or prediction that can be tested through experiment. The plural form for hypothesis is hypothesis. If you notice, there is no difference in the pronunciation of singular and plural form of the noun, except that plural form is more of Z sound. Greek words that end in on are pluralized by changing on to a. Like in mitochondrion, this is known as the powerhouse of the cell. Some cells contain two or more mitochondria. The word taxon follows this rule. Taxon is any one of this level of classification. Domain is an example of taxon. Kingdom is also an example of taxon. Genus and species are the taxa that make up the scientific name of an organism. So if you talk about two or more of this level of classification, then you say taxa. A phenomenon is an observable fact or event, such as eclipse, supermoon, and this beautiful aurora borealis or northern lights in Norway. And the plural form for phenomenon is phenomena. Now, let us take this rule. Words that end with X or X will be pluralized by changing the ending of the word to ises. The collective term for sepals is calyx. Calyx is singular and its plural form will be calyces or calyxes. Next example is vortex. This is the region in a fluid in which the flow revolves around an axis line. And the plural form for vortex is vortices. Appendix is a section at the end of a paper that includes information that is too detailed for the text of the paper. And the plural form for appendix is appendices. I am sure that you are thinking of this finger-shaped pouch that projects out from the colon. This is also appendix. But, in anatomical context, the plural for this appendix is called appendixes. It does not follow the rule of changing X or X to Ises. Let us talk more about these pluralized words that are said to be exceptions to the rule. Genus, it is a taxonomic rank used in the biological classification of living and fossil organisms. The plural form of genus is genera.
Next is species. This is a group of living organisms consisting of similar individuals capable of exchanging genes or interbreeding. Species is both the singular and the plural form of the word. So it is wrong to say species for its singular form. Because when you say species, you are actually referring to the money in the form of coins rather than notes. Next is stoma. Stoma is a small opening or a pore of a leaf or stem. It could also be a part of alimentary canal of nematodes. Its plural form is stomata, and it does not follow any rules that I discussed earlier. So there you go guys! Are you now ready for a short exercise? I will give you the singular form of the noun and you must give me its plural form. Are you ready? Let us start with atrium. This is the upper chamber of the heart. And its plural form is atria. That is correct. Each tiny projection in our intestine is called villus. And its plural form will be villi. That is correct. Amnion is the inner membranes enclosing the embryo of a bird, reptile, or mammal. What is its plural form? Amnia is correct. Crista is a ridge or crest or a fold in the inner membrane of a mitochondrion. Can you give me the plural form of Krista? Kriste is correct. Cortex is the outermost or superficial layer of an organ. Cerebral cortex is one of its examples. What is its plural form? Cortices is correct. As I said earlier, many of the words in science and mathematics retain their Latin or Greek plural forms. But there are some words that have already anglicized plural forms that have come into common use. Like virus, the plural form for virus is viruses instead of vira. However, regularizing or anglicizing plurals by forcing an S or ES onto many singular nouns often causes awkward pronunciations. Like nucleus, can we say nucleuses? Or hypothesis, can we say hypotheses? I don't think so. Lastly, Adding S or ES to already plural nouns is simply wrong. So you don't say bacterias for bacteria because bacteria is already plural in form. And the next time you are doing your experiment, do not say datas because data is actually the plural form for datum. So, can you now give the plural form of some scientific terms? Then share them in the comment box below. Because sharing is caring. Thank you for watching Science at Iba Pa. Please like my videos and subscribe to my YouTube channel for more video lessons. Science made easy with Teacher Digi.